Welcome back to Virtual DJ Tips. Today we are going to look at the recording features inside Virtual DJ 8. Now in version 8, we've included recording audio and recording video. So that's very handy for the video DJs out there that need to record their mix. Let's jump into the software, have a look at how everything happens. Okay, now that the software is open and we have a couple tracks loaded, we need to set up our recording. So we can either go up to our settings or we can go to the master tab and we can click on file. And that will open the settings window. And right here you will see the box with the three dots. Click on it and just name your file whatever you want. Call it my mix and you can choose if it's mp3, ogg, flac, WAV, WebM, and MP4. Now WebM is a online HTML5 player that is used. So you can actually Google that WebM and see what the format is if you've never heard of it before. And then of course everybody knows MP4. Those last two will be used for video mixing. For this case we're doing audio so I'm just going to select MP3 and we're just going to save it. And when I start recording you will see waiting for sound to begin recording. That means uh, you're either going to have to speak into your mic or you're going to have to play one of the decks for the recording to start. So you won't have any dead air at the beginning. Now we're just going to stop the recording here and we should go into the options first. Now just type in record in the search and you'll see all your recording options. So the record file is the my mix that we just created. The record format is MP3 as we decided that was going to be. Record quality is set to high. Now that's going to be 320 bit rate. Um, you can click the drop down and you can select mid or low. So there are lower qualities if you have maybe a long mix and the file size is going to be very huge and you need to upload it somewhere or that some sites only allow certain file bit rates. So if you have something that's like 192 is what you want to set for the bit rate, you would go with the mid section. Record auto start. Now this is recording will automatically start as soon as you press play on the deck. I like to use the record wait for sound. I just select that to yes. And then if either if you speak on the microphone and it's set up in your audio setup, or you press play on the deck, it'll start recording as soon as it hears some sound. Record overwrite, then it'll give you the option to change the file name. So it'll pop up and it says, my mix already exists. Do you want to overwrite this or do you want to change the name? Um, we have a record auto split feature. If you set that to yes, every time you set the crossfader from one side to the other, it will split the tracks. Record write cue file. Now, if you select that to yes, a lot of CD burning softwares allow you to use a cue file so it'll index your song list with the times. And then for the video section, you have your choice to record the video width and the height. Now I've got it at a 720p, so that would be 1280 by 720. And then also record microphone is set to yes. So now that this is all set up, we can either start recording from here or we can go right to the deck here in the master window and we can hit the little record button. And you'll see, waiting for sound to begin recording. We press play. Get a little bit of our song there. We'll just stop it and you can still, still see it keeps recording even though the music is stopped. If we hit the record button again, it stops the recording. And then we can go to our desktop where we did save the file. And I've got my mix one, which would be the second one that we created because I recorded some dead air there. And just grab it and throw it into the deck. And you should see if we play it. 
it plays that little bit that we just recorded. And then there's gonna be some dead air at the end because we stopped the track before we stopped recording. So at any time, if you want to change any of those settings, it's easy just to go into the edit recording settings, just hit that file button. That'll bring up your window. And as you can see, it triggers the settings window as well because that's what it's essentially doing. It's a shortcut. And if you wanted to do video, it's the exact same way. You're just gonna to have to select your MP4 format as a video and it'll record it to an MP4 or a WebM, depending on what you choose. It's exactly the same recording principles. So it doesn't matter if you're doing audio or video, but it's nice to have it native, both of them natively in the software. So there it is. That's recording in Virtual DJ8. Now, a couple ideas you can use this for. During your practice mixes, maybe you want to record yourself so you can go back and listen and critique yourself, make yourself a better DJ. Maybe you need to make a promo for a, a press kit or a digital resume for a club. Maybe you're a wedding DJ and you need to edit a certain song for an introduction. There's a whole bunch of different reasons why you would use the recording feature. I'm going to leave that up to you to decide. As always, thank you for watching. If it's your first time here, please think about subscribing. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.